Today, we have the 2021 Panini NFT Select Baseball Packs. Now, these odds are five select base cards, one other card. Pack odds are select insert one in 57 packs, but I'm feeling lucky. And either one oh, select yeah. parallel or one select insert NFT. Uh, today with me, luckily, I have Lucky. Hey, thanks for having me on this special Memorial Day celebration chance. Oh, well, you know, it's a big holiday for us, especially because we uh, have this new NFT marketplace to celebrate. Or I guess we shouldn't be celebrating that on Memorial Day, should we? Never mind. Well, we celebrate (laughs) our marketplace and the troops. You know, I celebrate capitalism because we're in America. (laughs) Goddamn right. God bless America. Uh, Let's see. Our first (laughs) card is a Fernando Tatis Jr., 2,265 out of 2,999 because there just weren't enough of these cards. <laughs> oh. 23, 23. Okay. So well, you know. Out. He's number 23. Yeah, exactly. At least it comes together that way. Now, speaking of capitalism, I know that uh, not everyone can put cards on this NFT blockchain because they're not as uh, computer literate as you are, Lucky. But I saw that they have something on eBay now where you can get the cards and they hold on to the cards for you. They act as like the middleman, kind of like right. the Brent Brooker. Uh, $29.89 Well, <laughs> rookie. Have you seen that? Have you tried that? I have seen that. I haven't tried it quite yet. I've been thinking about doing that because I've got a couple sort of high value little investment targets in there mm-hmm. and so thinking about it from both sides of that equation chan it could be good to uh to throw my stock in there and let some other folks invest in the value and then could be good to uh to go in on those things with some other folks in the in the marketplace and try and uh try and grow my overall investment portfolio the the mm-hmm. latter is what i've really been thinking of much true, like true. jorge ona yeah he uh, loves his investment portfolio Number exactly he has spoken at length about uh his microfinancing investments <laughs> and so that's that's really you know uh i think what the future mm-hmm. of investment holds and uh just trying to figure out where i want to buy in well another thing i saw on that ebay is that they actually kind of you don't have to get the cards graded. They'll take a, a scan of your card and they'll grade it themselves and they'll say what they believe it is, what, you know, what uh, Ha Seong Kim, they believe it is. He's a rookie, number 2057, <laughs> so high. <clears throat> Famously, uh, Ha Seong Kim has the only 9.5 graded time twister in the Greater Bay Area. Or wait, true? what team does he play for? San yeah, Diego. San Diego, uh, San Southern Diego. California area. Shit, I was really close. <laughs> so there's, uh, we got three rookies and we got three San Diego players. So if I were a San wow. Diego fan, I'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, San Diego is a beautiful, cha- a beautiful place, Jets. <laughs> Jose Inglesas, wonderful singer. A wonderful singer. Now, I don't understand why these are all saying common, but these are 2,999 and these are 2,199. That's a little weird. Hmm. And he's red. Uh, Red's important for something. Yeah, I don't know. Because he's select, but, well, I I guess they are. It's a select pack. They are select. Only the cream of the crop go in my packs. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Woodruff, number 27 of 249. Woodruff. I do believe he had a very good season last year. I, I recall seeing his name quite frequently. Not that I know anything about his exploits, but... On his premier good on you, Brandon. card. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> he does. He's confirmed to love disco. Most you know, he's a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> Party all night long. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We got common, 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 and uncommon. Okay. All, all right. right. I want that one in 57 packs. I want that Trey <laughs> Turner 
of my heart. <laughs> 255 at 2,999. Much like his one red glove out of all of the gloves that people use in baseball. Yeah, this is like an You really want glove. that rare. You know? <laughs> uh, oh, just another rookie card. Jonathan Striver, 311 out of 999, but it's a common card. Right. Okay. I have no idea how this numbering system works. <laughs> I mean, it's literally a thousand, yeah. it, well, a thousand two hundred less, but it's a common card, as, like, as opposed to the three thousand that were also commons. Yeah, they're both common, but there's literally two thousand less of this one. <laughs> and I don't know if they're saying something about him as a person, like you know, he doesn't deserve that many cards. <laughs> Well, one of the things that they did in the old Magic Marketplace was you had uh, uncommon commons that <laughs> actually sort of bubbled up. It was a very weird time in the in the community in the late nineties. Man, and okay. Ryan Jeffers knows that very well because He's they they always called them. that when you got one of those cards, they mm -hmm. called that pulling a Jeffers. Yeah, well, you know, he pulls a Jeffers. <laughs> I heard. That's another topic, though. Twelve ninety three for twenty one ninety nine. <laughs> oh, DJ Le Mahu. Wicky, 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 wick Le Mahu. <laughs> I like that they like have it in the lowercase here, but they capitalize it here. Like no respect in the algorithm. Seven ninety three. Right. Yeah, it's all caps. <laughs> Looks like he's playing for the Yankees. New York, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That was a silly thing. That's weird that they just say New York as if there's only one New York team. Well, the Mets don't count. I mean, I, yeah, I guess that's pretty true. Okay, never mind. I re I retract. Here's Kevin Smith for Arizona, 528 out of 2,199. Rookie card. Very nice. Pavin having fame for being the most misspelled first name because his first name is actually Kevin. And he, it's just, it's carried him through. <laughs> okay. Got uh, the premier red disco for Mr. DJ Lehume. 15 out of 249. Wiki wiki once again. That's, uh... That's very weird. It's exactly the same picture even. Yeah. That's... Just more funky because the disco. That's kind of low effort, but hey, 15 <laughs> out of 249, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty low. That's as much effort as I want to put in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Ultra rare. Got common. 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 Oh, rare oh! Speed. Common and common. Okay. <laughs> oh, I really didn't think it was going to happen. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Not like Salvador Perez. He's always thinking optimistically. He always <laughs> wants it to happen. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not, I definitely don't body shame anyone, but I will say there's a big difference between the, the days of Mark McGuire and Jose Canseco, <laughs> today's players. I can't put Indeed my finger on it. Don't know exactly why. <laughs> yeah, you know, man. <laughs> Might be something in the bread basket. I don't know. <laughs> no, this Pedro is <laughs> playing for Houston. We got Tyler Stephenson or Stephen. All right. Stephenson, yeah. Four was That's a cool looking home. card, at least. Yeah, you know, I think it pays to be on a, a red team because you get a yeah. cooler background. <laughs> Seems so. Who knew you wanted to pick based on the color of your team? 88 Noah Snygard. See, he's playing for oh, New York I, too, but I think this is the Mets. It it certainly is. So they're just trying to not body shame him. <laughs> they're, trying, they're trying I, to have to shame him by work, saying he's on the Met team. I prefer the work of his dad, Stellan Skarsgard. So. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. But he's not big enough. You know, his Stellan Savinsgard was in that movie. Right, exactly. Norseman. Just comparing him to yeah. his family. Jake Cronworth, 391, is San Diego. But what is this like a? Uh, we're we're in a we're in a Cronenberg timeline, Morty. <laughs> Cronenberg timeline, Jake. <laughs> Where we all have to wear these tar terrible shirts. 
<laughs> it's camo, so they can't see him, okay? <laughs> Tactical. The Cronenbergs can't see you, Jakey. <laughs> All right, so it's rare. I don't I'm excited. I don't know who would hope for. I really don't know either. I, uh, I mean Cal Ripkin Jr. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Who's that other guy that's really good? Uh, I'll be like here Schmidt? all day if I wait and think for it. Okay, <laughs> let's. <laughs> so here's wait, a... Lenny Dykstra. <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> here's, here's our rare card to end our Memorial Day special. Thank you for joining me, Lucky. Thank you for having me, Chance. All right, we're holding hands virtually. We're gonna see what the rare card is. Jumping Ready? into this rare. One, two, two three. Tim Anderson. Hey, yeah. 149. You know, I got to say this. uh, Didn't we find one that was like out of 299? And that was just another. That's um, right. (laughs) All right. Well, I don't know. But this guy has the (laughs) rainbow background. No, it is nice. I'm sure. I'm sure it's the same Tim Anderson picture that any Tim Anderson common has for whatever reason. True, true. But that's some tight backgrounding. Well, I don't see why it's called a base silver. Like they should call it like a rainbow. Like it's more colorful yeah. than giving it credit for. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. yeah, that's very true. Well, that was a beautiful selection. Uh, thank you guys for watching.